Okay, I'm Alan Peebles, and I am from Atlanta, Georgia, but now living in uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia, and I'm representing as Mr. Uh, Old Dominion Leather and a part of the Nighthawks there. And this is my first opportunity to be at MAL, and uh, privileged to make that uh, an opportunity to be a part of MAL. So tell us about, about what is Old Dominion Leather? Give us a little it's background a, on that. It's a part of uh, the Centaurs, and it's my understanding that they rotate uh, with the Nighthawks every other year uh, down in Virginia Beach and then back up here. Um, and so, uh, and this has been going on, it's my understanding about eight years. I, again, I knew the community, of that part of the community. Right. So. Now, how did you get involved in title holder stuff? It was never a personal plan. It was never a personal goal. They asked me when I, if I would be willing to be a part of the contest. I showed up on a night that was a non-leather night in total leather. That didn't matter to me. <laughs> and so, uh, so they asked, and I laughed in the guy's face, and uh, and we joked around, and he said something, and that kind of motivated me. And I knew I was going to be a part of the Nighthawks. I've always been a part of the leather group, no matter where I've been. And so I thought, okay, well, this would be an opportunity to support them. Well, the, actually, the opposite became true because it actually became a part of what my goal was to get to know people in the community and then after I built my foundation there start to get to know people in this community uh, and, uh, and so pole vaulted that so while I may have been supporting them it fit my plan by mistake and while it wasn't necessarily my desire to win uh, it's been a lot of fun and in my encouraging other people that were running for contests in the past whether it be leather, bear or whatever I've always encouraged them just enjoy the ride, don't get all caught up in it, right. keep the testosterone down, you're not going to win a million dollars. <laughs> you got it, yeah. <laughs> and uh, if anything, in these kind of levels, you know, you're going to spend a lot of money to be part of it all. What's, so, been, what's been your biggest surprise? I don't know, because that part of it was what I was expecting. I guess just winning it, and then the, the, you cannot estimate the, the level of fun that's going to take place. And, and, and meeting different people and, and that kind of stuff. And uh, and then building you know, the bonds, which occurs in the love community, but it's uh, it's like a step up in the, that fraternal bond. Right. So, Have you done any uh, events yet as old, Mr. Old Dominion Leather? I did, I came up to you, Mr. Maryland, and, uh, and I intended to come up to two more, but I was sick for a month with sinus infection. Ouch. So, yeah, and uh, I hated, I, I missed them. I want in particular. So uh, anyway, but I'm looking forward to this year. Mine was in October, so so many things happen so fast between now yeah. and uh, that I'll have more time for the calendar next year. That's a short time frame. It is. It was a lot of stuff to get together too. So who's your support group in all this? Well, the Nighthawks for sure. Sure. Uh, Rudy, who's been my handler, has been fantastic. Um, and then my friends and extended family. You know, uh, I have friends from the Navy that I'm back in uh, in their lives on a daily basis that were my roommate and his wife from the Philippines. I introduced them and so now uh, I'm their neighbor and awesome. uh, it's a great time to be back in their life. Now let's, uh, obviously you're here competing this weekend for Mr. Mid-Atlantic Leather. So let's uh, let's put our, our hat on so you win. All right. When you're, you're now the winner. So what's your hope for next year? What's the one thing you'd hope would happen next year as Mr. Mid-Atlantic Leather? Uh, you know, I, I really, I really do want to encourage the, the leather community. I want to reach out to the non-leather community and, and help them to truly understand who we are and who we aren't, their perceived vision of who we are. And um, and I'd really like to to uh, continue in encouraging um, the bonds between the pans pansexual community, the female community, and us. Mm. Um, I've been a little disappointed in folks that I've met over the years. Um, who can't cross over to different areas. Having been a social worker is just part of my my framework. Right. So, um, and then on a personal note, they asked me this in my com competition, what do you expect to get out of this personally? And I said, well, I think it's gonna open up the dating pool and I may be the, the daddy sir person of my dreams as opposed to, I was a little disappointed uh, in other communities I've lived in and uh, that it just didn't, wasn't there. Happen for whatever reason. You haven't heard of the title holder's curse, have you? Is that what it is? Yeah. Once you get once you get the title. Get out of here, buddy. <laughs>
<laughs> Once you get that sash, there's no more sex. That's it. You're done. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your uh, what's your one word of advice for anybody that's been contemplating running for a leather title? The exact same thing I used to tell people in the past before I would, had ever gotten here. Go have a good time. Build your bonds. Um, it's, it's truly not about the win. It's about the journey. Uh, if you make the journey the best part, then the road the road in the future, the same guys you're going to be with 10 years now from now, just crossing paths or doing other things with, uh, will be that much better. Cool. Thanks for taking the time to sit with us. Not a problem. Good luck. <laughs>